Hey, I'm Mrs. Eat. Today, we're gonna be watching tips to attract a Japanese woman. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Hi guys, I'm Marina and this is Yui and she's Japanese. And today we're gonna be talking about- We don't do this. How to attract a Japanese woman. Yay! Yay. If you're watching this video, chances are you're a foreigner uh, because Japanese guys probably know how to talk to Japanese women, or at least know Japanese women. Maybe not. I that. don't think so. Uh, but if you are a foreigner, you definitely have an advantage since mm. you are exotic. Mm -hmm. But before I build up your ego and make you think you're invincible, mm. please watch this video so you can understand how Japanese women work. There's no magic strategies that you can do. However, if you show, uh, if you see these videos and if you do some of the things, that they will very appreciate you. So mm. first one is flirting Let's and see. approach. So really great news. Flirting and approach. Japanese women will never reject you. Mm. We cannot say no. That sounds really weird. Uh, Why true, no? true. Really we don't. We hardly say no. Western woman, yeah, you get a pretty clear impression of whether she's mm. interested in you or not. Hey, how are you? I have a boyfriend. I'd love to say this. I'd love to say this one day. <laughs> you cannot tell if she's interested in you or not. Yeah, she's right. You have to kind of guess. Mm. Hey there. I see you here a lot. I just want to say you look awesome today. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. true. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's like this for Japanese women. Even though she's not interested in you at all, they're just trying to be polite. So they put up and say, oh, hi, where are you from? Oh, it's good. And they want to stop, maybe have some chit chat. But a lot of times they have zero interest in you. If they don't ask you a phone number or if they don't reply to you, zero percent. So there's a lot of guesswork. And there's a lot of guesswork. It's like mm. a guessing game. Welcome to What Is She Thinking? And Fadi <laughs> is our first contestant. Are you nervous, Fadi? Are you nervous, Fadi? Well, you shouldn't be. <laughs> the answers are all wrong. <laughs> so, the Japanese girls will never mm. approach to the guys. The guys in Japan, they don't really like strong women. Mm. Like, um, they really like um, feminine and kind and quiet. I have to disagree with her opinion because I've seen a lot of girls who are more up for to approach guys and then there are there are a lot of men who enjoy like like a powerful or energetic woman so I don't really agree with this idea opinion so we try to be like that I think social intelligence plays a huge part in Japan, right? So right. just approaching a woman straight away without any consideration may be seen as a little bit aggressive. I think it's too aggressive. Mm -hmm. Too aggressive. We That's think true. guys after sex if he approaches you like, hey. Oh, we say, hey. <laughs> true, hey. <laughs> oh, that's too close. Yes, that's too close. Nah. Great bar, huh? Reminds me of one back in New York. Mm. Oh, you speak English? <laughs> yeah. I am an English teacher. Oh, oh so good. At the end of the day, I think it's very simple, and that's being a gentleman goes a long way in Japan. Mm. Yeah, it's very like simple, but yeah. small gesture. Mm. Yes, maybe yes. Open the door for mm. the girl, mm. and maybe put the jacket off for right. the girl, and maybe put the chair in and out <laughs> in the left yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. small gesture that sounds sad but it's true <laughs> body contact oh body contact body. i think we it's a huge problem more distant mm -hmm. culture so we can take time to get closer and know each other mm -hmm. yeah yeah so especially for japanese people the comfortable personal distances longer than american so like american people usually like one arm length is comfortable but for japanese people i would say one arm and a half but if we get too close we get really uncomfortable like oh okay oh okay 
personal distance is very, very different. Especially Japanese people has the, I would say, longest personal distance. Especially different sex. Can you back oh, so close. Oh, so close. I could feel his breath. Oh, no, no, oh my gosh, she's wearing such a even appropriate clothes. She's showing up her shoulders. Oh, no. I'm kidding, but uh, you don't really see a Japanese woman wearing this this clothes. This clothes means I'm ready to hook up a guy. A little bit more. Um, one more step? That's a little too much, but perfect. Yeah, that's a little so too much. So how are you? So nah. If you say like, hey, how are you? Oh, no, 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 no. This no. is not... No, 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 no. Don't touch, don't touch. We will touch. say no, don't touch me. Mm. But we will say like, mm. oh, that's too cool. The day. So uh, just because of everything that we've mentioned before, keep in mind that Japanese people like their privacy and their personal space. Mm -hmm. And that means she probably might be a little bit uncomfortable with you as a one-on-one -on -one date straight mm -hmm. off the bat. So if she invites you to a group date, that's something normal. That doesn't yeah, mean very normal. That's interesting. It just means yeah. she needs a little bit more time getting to know you. Yeah, true? and yeah. also yeah. probably the Japanese girl wanted to bring her friends and then ask her friends, what do you think about him? Do you they think I should do it him? So it's like a very casual date, but don't be don't be scared. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so group date is gonna be the first one, mm. maybe second, third. It would be like movie or coffee. Yeah. So it's one on one, one, -on -one on the first it's date is very very rare, I think. Um, Japanese women want you to lead. Yes. Yes. What does that mean? Mm. We like the guys. So nice. Like have a leadership. <laughs> but not leadership. Aggressive leadership. Uh, like leadership. Kind. Uh, he planned the date, mm -hmm. organized, and we can kind of smoothly follow along. I think Japanese women appreciate the time that the guy spend for her, you know, planning the date, where to go, what to eat, what to bring. We I think we appreciate that thought. Even though, you know, they didn't go do to go well, but we really appreciate the time that's spent for me, the time, yeah, the time spent for them, yeah. What do you want to eat? Burgers? <laughs> She's again wearing the Italian. <laughs> Chinese? <laughs> sushi? No, no sushi. No sushi. Thai? Thai. Tacos? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. So I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Um, you have to watch it tonight after dinner. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, are you sure you're not cold? Your ears are kind of. Yeah, the Japanese woman, yeah, like this, a Japanese woman would say, even though they're freezing, they would say, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay, daijoubu, I'm okay, but in her mind, why, why can't this guy bring a scarf or a jacket for me or buy me some hot drink or something? That's true, that's so true. Hmm. You know what? Just it's case, so hard, hard to date a Japanese woman. Oh, <laughs> Another guessing culture mm. <laughs> that you probably have to what she likes, but not asking her where do you want to go, mm. so what do you want to eat every single time mm -hmm. <laughs> because we want you to guess. So you don't know the girl, you don't know what she likes, but right. you have to guess. You so have yeah, but it's not always, <laughs> but a lot of times I would, I <laughs> think a girl, Japanese girl, will um, appreciate the, the time that guy so spent for her. Chances are you're gonna have to make a sort of confession. What is the name of the confession? So, kokuhaku. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you have a kokuhaku? Yeah. And kokuhaku? you talk it over and decide if you're boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, chances are she's not gonna know where you stand. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are. She's my girlfriend. Ooh. <laughs> aru, aru. If yeah, you're going yeah. for a coffee, it would be maybe you have to probably ask. If you want a serious yeah. relationship, you have to go to the dad. Yes. And just say, can I please date your daughter with the end goal of marrying her? <laughs> no, so no, 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 no. Dating a Japanese girl? No. Please take it seriously. I don't she think so. Is. I don't think so, no. I don't think that's true.
Did I hear you wanted some hot tea and jacket? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to Vancouver mm. for sponsoring this video. If you don't. Oh, interesting video. I think a lot of information here are kind of true, but I still feel like it's a little bit old, old information about a Japanese woman. Because I have worked with uh, college kids and I've seen how college kids, you know, start talking to each other and start dating. I've seen them, but I think women are more up for these days and then men don't really mind if a woman is like a, you know, a woman approach to him or, you know, suggest where to go, where to get, maybe leading the date. I don't think a man really care about it now. That was a very interesting video. I hope you enjoyed watching it with me. All right. Then I'll see you next time. Okini!